Hello, beautiful people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I woke up around uh, <clears throat> 3 30 a.m. Yesterday was an outing. After a long time, I went out to catch a movie. And um, the movie was that that movie, I don't even remember the name Godzilla vs. Uh, Monkey. No, not Monkey. King Kong. King Kong, that the new movie basically came out. And I don't usually watch movies nowadays anymore because they're all lame. And whatever movies we wa used to watch back in the days, I mean, Armageddon, Godzilla, <sighs> The Perfect Storm, man, gone up the days, you know. I'm sorry to say, I mean, like, I cannot relate uh, nowadays with the movies. They're too complicated for me, you know. I used to like, enjoy pure action movies, you know. If you if you remember Terminator 2, what a movie. You can watch them over and over again. You know, you never get bored. It's a movie for a lifetime. Just uh, give me an example. But the movie day was went horrible. The mall experienced four times a kind of a <laughs> power failure and i sat out of the two hours of the movie one hour almost four, 45 minutes no air conditioning i sweated like crazy because i had hot chocolates i had popcorn i had all the possible food and there's no ac and then it came out man uh, horrible day anyway so basically what i'm trying to say horrible heat and humidity came back took a shower i slept and i just woke up having coffee right now uh, just for my voice my voice is better than before I'm uh, better than before because I'm taking care. I'm trying not to take too much cold stuff. But, you know, sometimes, you know, you do make mistakes. So anyway, I want to talk about a few things. First of all, those who watch Morning Thoughts episode, you like it and you give me your response. You guys are the OGs. You guys are the best. Okay, because I do this for you. If some people watch, it's, it's the whole point of it when i talk about humanity when i talk about mental health these are the things out of the fragrance game i do um so today i want to talk about one thing first thing i would like to say i'm so happy so happy those who follow uh greggy boy you know I, I don't remember which year it was there's like a number also after the name i'll leave a link below the channel um he is from uk he's one of the og reviewers which uh whose channel i started watching before i started my game him Coach Rob 619, Steven, Mark, when you think of Max Forte. Uh, there are many other, many other reviewers. Um, there's the other reviewer, um, what's his name? The Drag Doc. So those who started back in the days, they would know these names like by heart. And I used to watch their reviews over and over again. And some of the reviewers sadly uh, quit the community. They don't feel like reviewing anymore. So uh, I don't want to say this is like, you know, so many years back. It's like 2016. Yeah, almost like a decade back. So D Greggy Boy, he's back after three years. He took a long pause. I don't know his my personal life, whatever. And when I used to watch his reviews, he's not like a fancy. He just put his phone and he'll talk about some of his favorite friends, Master of Azure. And his, the best part is his British accent. And now his days, he's also reviewing watches. Uh, some expensive watches that's his hobby but seeing an OG reviewer back you know it is like Christmas time I was so happy I shared his review and he says 10 fragrance I still love and when you hear his voice it's like God speaking <laughs> you know fragrance coming I'm so happy he's back and I, I commented from my other channel uh, on his channel that I'm so glad you're back you know you're the OG we missed you please don't go something like that and he responded such a nice nice guy so guys please if you want to know some of the best perfume reviewers you have to subscribe to uh greggy boy and he's not about flashy things or viral he's not an influencer so he has like ten thousand something subscribers maybe a little bit more after all these years of 10 years plus he's reviewing for i think 2015 12 like that right so he's on the older reviewers so i'm so happy he's back and uh he is going to be doing some reviews. I would love to see him. So now to this point, I want to talk about something important. I uh, want to talk about influencers. I talked about this before. Influencers versus fragrance reviewers. Uh, yeah, I think influencers, that's, that's the term. There is a distinction. Okay. Uh, there are so many reviewers nowadays. When I, I don't follow that many reviewers anymore, I am so busy with my work. I'm not trying to brag or anything. It's just I keep myself so busy with work that I have slot for each thing. I have a page I have to run. I have uh, my groups that have run in the channel and I have my personal work. So I put slots and I rest enough because I'm not well. Uh, I'm recovering. So I sometimes just go to Google. You know, previously they used to uh, suggest so many uh, reviewers before perfume reviews, this and that. But nowadays I watch more like movie clips when I eat. I have movie clips, 
like music, you know, funny videos, stuff like that. So they promote those watches, those videos more. But then sometimes I see once in a while like a new review, new channel or an old video that came up. So I realize one thing that pattern of reviewing has changed. You know, uh, I am in the mid sort of like batch reviewers. I have given like almost a decade now, now nine years, 16 to 2004, 24. But imagine before that, five, six, seven years before that, those who are working, their setup were different. Their cameras were like from all back in the days, like a DG cam or something or a phone. And uh, their setup was different. So those reviewers, if you see perfume reviewer back then, apart from Jeremy, many of the other reviewers, they went in depth. Okay. Drag doc. He would tell you exactly what he hates about a perfume, like Mark. And those OG reviewers used to meet back in the days in New York or uh, Send Explore, like Max Forte. You know, these reviewers, they would wear this amazing overcoat suits. They are like superheroes for me. I used to say once I commented on one of the lives of Steven Redolescence that uh, that time BFL, Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, was alive. And they, used, they were doing a collab. And then uh, Carlos was playing a song. I requested yesterday and he played it on the piano and they both sang, I think. And uh, Steven, I commented on him that, bro, I am such a big fan, you know, and I really wish you, Mark, Max Forty, Jeremy, you could involve in a superhero movie where you could play perfumes, perfume, uh, you know, related stuff. It could be a movie for the frag world. And he's like, I don't know about that. You know, Steven is such a shy guy and he's such a down to earth. He's such a gentleman, you know. So uh, he... Steven, I used to watch all his reviews, every single review, because I loved his work so much. And I bought many fragrances based on his reviews. So what I'm trying to say is back in the days, those were the days. And I, I love to brag about this time, 2015, 14, and then onwards, like up to 2018. Those were the times. Nowadays, uh, the trend has changed a little bit. And I'm not going to bash anybody because everybody has their own right to work. And I'm not the one to judge because people judge me too. So <clears throat> not, not good to judge someone or pass judgment judgment but the trend has changed a little bit now now it's all about commercial products which celebrity fragrance they are going to promote they'll find a reviewer and they'll give it to few reviewers and they'll just promote it even just cheaper fragrances in middle east you know and they'll be thrown to uh, reviewers they'll get a good paycheck i got offers to do that as well and i'm not gonna lie to you or hide from you i will tell you i if I got such an offer, I would grab it with both hands because these are the opportunities we work for. I have got my 100,000. My silver play button is here. I'm going to have to go to customs and get it released. Uh, there's a procedure. It will take about one to two weeks. But what I never did was I got a product and I said, this is a sponsored video and I just hyped it up for uh, whatever they asked me to. You understand, like, to just do the, their marketing without having any input of mine or honest reviews. Sometimes, yeah, I did uh, say I love the fragrance, like Shura. I smelled it for the first time. I did a review. You go and see my old Shura review. Those are stuff that I really felt. You know, I used to like, this is the devil's juice. This is like the, the, the Satan is this and that. Right. <laughs> Sorry, a little bit of coffee. But what I never did, I'm saying about me, I never ever promoted a company because they paid me. Okay, that kind of review I don't do. If you do reviews like that, there's just no point of doing reviews. What's the point? There's no point uh, because you are just promoting a product. You're just a salesperson, right? And I didn't want to be that person. I don't. I do have respect for people who work for, let's say, Max Aroma or some of the other pages, and they did review sponsored videos. And there's like, here is a product, and this one has these five notes, and then um, you know, this, this, this. This is for good for autumn, and that's it. That's the price range. That's it. Those are like advertisements, right? But there are times many influencers also did not disclose and they do not still disclose like they got it for free. They got a paycheck to promote it and they just like, oh my God, guys. Ah. No, I shouldn't say that. People would be like, you're talking about a particular reviewer. Yes, there are certain reviewers I have no time to watch because they literally are brand promoters and they live a luxurious life and they lived in Dubai sometimes, you know. Good for them. I wanted to move to Dubai too. I don't want to lie. I want to be successful. I want to have this nice ride, uh, perhaps a nice little SUV driving in the middle of Dubai like a king. And I'm like, what's up? What's up? Life is good. And you look up, sunroof, moonroof, man, you look at the moon. <laughs> Those are the dream. But I, I don't want to uh, uh, like deny it. You know, I want to be rich too. I want to have, I like money. I like uh, good, 
life but not in exchange of a soul okay and uh, that means i want to work but i will still like to have my own input on a fragrance so people who are connecting with me are the people who will be benefited the most or the first party to be benefited of course no companies pay me you know good thing for you guys is that i have to buy my fragrances some of you go like thank god he buys the fragrances i have no other option bro nobody send me free stuff one or two yeah like out of 100 maybe two fragrances sometimes once in a blue moon some uh, reviewers like they are kind enough ashton sent me steven sent me many of them ridul bhai sent me from india but i gave my honest opinion okay no matter what i i was a little bit sometimes a bit nice like because you cannot bash your friends fragrance too much but i perhaps said this perhaps smells like little bit like this fragrance you know so if you go like that same fragrance and you go like got a page again say man i never smelled this before this is a unique fragrance this is like 10 out of 10 it smells like prada loam this and that but actually in reality it smells like nothing okay so i got offers and then i denied it i declined it reason being uh if i lose my trust with you people you know uh, audience uh this is the most precious thing i understood from doing youtube at least you know doing this for a few years now your uh that what you call that that most important asset is your trust and your uh, connectivity with your crowd it doesn't matter if you buy your subscribers like you have 5 millions and you do you know get so many views you earn but at one point if you don't have a soul a channel people will feel like no this is just like a like a channel you know like what there's a word for it there's like a uh not organic you know the opposite of it is like artificial channel they just give you something that you don't want to believe you know it's like gimmicky and if you lose that slowly you'll start losing bit by bit your most important things of your channel your uh returning subscribers so for me why it took so long to get 100000 this is the process i worked work work i put reviews after reviews i hope for some day people will uh see me and then you know they subscribe and finally i got it you know thank god but now uh, the sort of uh, reviewers we have and they go like they bring out the latest fragrances and they say uh, this is from this website and i got it for free and then there's a coupon code this it creates an issue with uh, viewers and potential buyers and uh, i will just tell you because i read comments on every group and i am a reviewer i am a an user i do have a page decanting so i'm not out of it right so i do sell fragrances also in terms of decants sometimes i sell off some of my partials but i don't sell full bottles and i don't right now want to work for any company because they want to control you i don't want to be controlled <clears throat> so once the trust is gone people be like hmm is promoting this fragrance because he is selling it is promoting this fragrance because he is being paid for that company and once the trust is gone it's it's that's it that's it people will not uh want to watch you or enjoy if back in the head they will like oh this this promoter guy this is the guy who bought, bought subs this is the guy who uh you know make gimmicky videos of stuff which are not real you know and they keep showing the 10 only fragrances over and over again i see these comments you know even people like jeremy people say that this guy has lost his plot you know few months he's not doing videos and he does this two minute videos and go to public and go like uh oh this fragrance eh, i don't like it so you know this is where you lose interest as a viewer i lost interest in jeremy's reviews i don't i can relate to him but uh the difference between the og reviewers and currently um the camera work is fantastic the new one ones they have tiktok instagram so advanced um but um when you see one reviewer reviewing other fragrance reviewers review a uh, perfume and you go like oh my god guys this is so good this is like 10 this beast mode this is the best and it's a 250 300 dollars cologne and you know they are friends you know they're going to be nice to each other and they're going to say definitely 10 out of 10 but imagine when you take it and it smells like something else out there that's the moment you realize no fragrance game it's you know because it's once the trust is broken guys you know it's very difficult to get it back so my end point you know i want to finish with this note it's a long video uh do your own thing nowadays currently i would say almost no designer fragrances are worth getting that's it's it's just a sad story and i'll tell you why i got some stronger with you tobacco i got bulgari man in black perfume i paid premium for those and i got jean paul gaultier la mole elixir because i'm a fool you know i'm a love fool and i love fragrances i i sometimes tell myself i don't want to buy it anymore because they are way overpriced for what it is whatever it used to be 55 bucks now it costs 150 dollars 200 dollars armani aquadigio new ones 
and it's ridiculous we don't even pay niche prices if for those designers so nowadays your best bet are as i said before middle eastern houses the clone houses the value they give you guys have to hate to admit it but it's the truth even designers cannot uh, provide that love or the feel anymore because they are so expensive and niche fragrances forget about them uh, i i go and see these retail stores we have a one shop called sandara every year it's not their fault it's the management decides they increase their price bit by bit and now the dollar rate currency everything is expensive so export duty import duty and when i see an amouage costing 400 dollars which used to be 150 bucks under 200 dollars and nishane fragrance used to be 100 something uh, nowadays it's like 2 300 you feel man uh, i mean i could buy like 20 fragrance for that price right middle eastern house and i could get almost the same almost so close now the clones are the originals are so close and you'd be like why would i pay premium for a little bit better quality better longevity or projection or just the brand name nowadays no so the fun of excitement if you can agree with me of designer releases are now less and less there are some houses they still uh, azaro ck they are houses but ck when this thing came out ck defy i want to get it so bad retail was 70 80 dollars burberry hero Barbary fragrance used to be 30 35 dollars hero they're asking for 110 dollars i am losing interest in buying and i'm selling off so many of my fragrances so buying fragrances are interesting but for good value so your best bet okay try to go to the groups try to get the partials for good prices try to see which people are getting rid of their fragrances those are going to bet best bets partials and from buying from people buying from shops online nowadays latest release paying retail don't do it okay even if i tell you so uh, maybe you try a sample you know go to the shop then try to buy from an original shop but apart from that if you don't really love anything everything is super expensive and super super overpriced and i don't think the prices are going down very quickly and that's why i reduced i uh, definitely reduced the number of bottles per month nowadays i buy some fragrances like affordable ones or to content, create content these things give me view more than designers if i do a designer nobody watches it niche nobody's even interested so final point is instead of trusting the influencers ask reviewers you know do your own research fragrantica do some research read the comments and test the fragrance and buy whatever you like you know whatever your uh, money uh, you know you want to spend okay so um, do your own thing and be a bit wiser because your income definitely has not increased as much as the prices of goods have a nice day thanks for watching sorry for a long video just want to talk casually go for a morning walk after a while take care bye bye